Okay, your second show you know from section 4.2. This time, instead of giving you a fraction, they start you off with a decimal. And it says convert these decimals to first a percent and a fraction. But we're actually going to do it in reverse order. We're actually going to go to a fraction first and then into a percent. So if I look at A, in order for me to interpret A as a fraction, I have to be able to read it. And I have to know my place values. This is the tenths, hundredths, the thousandths, the ten thousandths. So that number is 64 ten thousandths when I interpret the decimal as a fraction. That's the most important part. Because once you have it written as a fraction, it's going to be much easier to get it into a percent because, again, percents are simply uh, fractions out of 100. And since my denominator is base 10, because we're dealing with the metric system, it's going to be very easy to go from 10,000 to 100, making an equivalent fraction. Every time I divide by 10, I move the decimal one spot, so I have to move it twice, which means I'm going to divide by 100. Right? And if you want to think of it another way, for every time you want to move the decimal, each zero in your base 10 number will move the decimal one spot. So 100 will move it twice, meaning 10,000 divided by 100 is 100. And 64 divided by 100, if I move the decimal once, twice, will be 0.64 out of 100, which is less than 1%. It's 0.64%, right? Less than 1%. Now for question B, again, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, it is 268 thousandths when I interpret that decimal as a fraction. And since I want to go to a percent, I need to make that equivalent fraction out of 100. This time I'm not going to divide by 100. What am I going to divide by? What am I going to... In order, in order to make an equivalent fraction, what do I have to divide 1,000 by to get 100? That's right, 10. So if I divide both numerator and denominator by 10, I'm going to create an equivalent fraction of 26 decimal 8, because when you divide by 10, you move it one spot over, which means it's going to be 27, 26 decimal 8 percent. So 0 decimal 268 is 268 hundredths and 26.8 percent. And finally, your last one uh, is C, which is 5 and 98 hundredths, which is 5 and 98 hundredths. That's what it would be as a mixed fraction. As an improper fraction, it's a beautiful thing because it's 598 over 100, which is what a percent is. So it's 598 out of 100, which is a percent. It's 598%. I'm sure you guys are all copying this down because on audio you can hear all your conversations.